All right, YouTubers and reptile freaks. Um, last night I fed off a few rats. Um, it was around 16 uh, jumbo rats and five large rats to everything. And I totally forgot to record. So I know there's a few that have been requesting to see a feeding video. So for tonight I have um, some rabbits I'm gonna give to these guys and uh, just want to keep the, sh the intro sh uh, short and sweet, but um, for those of you that are tender-hearted, I'd recommend you not watch this part. So, but this is this is one of those things that goes hand in hand with keeping large constrictors, and uh, everybody has their own preferences. But uh, I'm gonna feed some rabbits off, and these rabbits are gonna be live. So, uh, just want to give you guys a little bit of a heads up. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this girl here, she ate, I think she ate three jumbos last night. And she's still acting kind of hungry, so... Go ahead and give her another another rabbit. Hopefully she'll eat, guys. Yeah, she took it. It's good. Sometimes this gets pretty intense. She's got a pretty good coil on it. Mouse free of everything, so she's good. Okay. This guy here, last week he ate, or about two weeks ago, he ate one jumbo for me. And he refused last week. Try a live rabbit because sometimes that just sometimes that just does the trick for these guys. So let's see what happens here. Hopefully, eat it. Come on, bud. This is the same one. He was he was sick a little while ago. He took it. That's good. So he refused last time, and this time he took it. Sometimes that's all it takes. Give him something live. He's got that one locked down pretty good. It's going to be way up here. She ate a couple jumbos last night too, but I'm saying she ought to take this. She ought to. She's got that one locked down. Good girl. Now, I, 
last time she ate has probably been about six weeks ago. And at that time she had eaten two rabbits, two big rabbits. She got a spare for one snake that refused. The one on the bottom, he I walked in the room the other day and he slammed the glass. So I'm saying he's more than ready to eat. He's going to show the signs like he's hungry. Good. It's been a while since he's eaten too. That's good. Hopefully we'll go five for five, guys. Come on, Moses. I'm going to bump this rabbit with my feeding tong, see if I can get the snake to go over there. Yeah, I'm going to try giving this guy one, uh, that last rabbit that Moses didn't eat. He refused his rats uh, last night, so maybe he'll take a live rabbit. We'll see. I don't know if he'll take it or not. Yeah, 
Got a couple more snakes to feed here. My super tigers. See what happens here. Well, that one took it, which is very good. Fit this one on the bottom does. Okay, so here's another example why <clears throat> uh, you have to feed live sometimes. Believe it or not, these two snakes right here are only about uh, four months Flash is going low. So these two super tigers right here are only four months, uh, let's see, I think they're four months older than this snake up here. And this snake is a genetic stripe. And she's in a six foot cage. And the reason being is this girl A lot of times we'll take frozen thawed or pre-killed and these two to the past two weeks I've offered frozen thawed and both of them didn't take it so that's another good example why sometimes you have to feed live in order to get your snakes to eat so do a quick uh, shot of each one of these that has eaten their meals. Give me a second here. Okay, so. Your late her rabbit. Man, a couple rats. The guy ate his rabbit that he hasn't eaten in several months which is good. Old Grumpy ate his rabbit, which it's been a very long time since he's eaten. And I tried to feed him uh, frozen thawed and about three weeks ago, he ate one rat, and this last time he refused, so I gave him a live rabbit, and he nailed it immediately. So that's good. Okay. Okay, here's another snake that, uh, he's been a finicky eater also, and this is an adult male Burmese python. And I keep him in a 32-quart tub for now. And he's the same same kind of deal. It's occasionally he'll take a frozen thawed, but uh, more times than not, he will eat live. The only problem with eating feeding live is, uh, especially with the rats, you gotta uh, you just can't leave them in there for an extended period of time. You do have to keep your eye on them. So that's the only problem with these. But. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'll shut this tub, leave that rat in there with him, and I'll check it every few minutes, but usually within the first five minutes he'll take the rat, so. Anyway. Here's my uh, het caramel. Give him something I just stunned. He'll usually take it. Come on, bud. Come on now. Good boy. There's that. Mm. 
caramel eight, a large. She's hissy as usual. This ball python ate a large, and it's in a 15 quart tub, and she does very well in there, or he, whatever it is. Whatever kind of ball python it is. I know it's a ball python. My neighbor gave it to me. And this snake also can eat a jumbo rat, believe it or not. No problem at all. Jumbos. Okay. This girl here ate a large. It's been quite a while since she's eaten. But she can also take a jumbo, no sweat also, without a problem. Okay. This one. This snake could eat easily a, uh, a weaned rat to a small rat. And she ate just a few days ago. So she's doing good. Okay, that snake ate a, uh, she ate a jumbo. Yeah. That guy ate a large. He's got a messy cage right now. We'll get it cleaned up here in a couple days once he settles. This snake right here, I think he ate two jumbo rats. And this is the father of my last clutch of eggs. But this snake, believe it or not, he can eat a six pound rabbit. And that's what he ate last about six weeks ago. A six pound rabbit, guys. So, it's amazing what they can swallow. The boa. He ate a jumbo. His last meal was probably four to five weeks ago. These two skipped. Actually, he would eat, but I've got him paired up with cornflake. I'm taking him back and forth between cornflake and sage. This one refused. She's normally good about eating rats, but She's really fat right now, and she might be going through an ovulation, but uh, I don't want to pair her up with anything. She's still kind of young. I think she's about two years, right at two years old, two and a half. Okay. This guy, I tried to feed him, but he just wants to breed. This guy wants to breed, but he'll also eat, and I'm not going to open the cage because he might come flying out at me. I think he ate two jumbos. That one there ate two or three jumbos. Okay. Last meal I tried to give this girl, I tried to give her a live rabbit, and she just wasn't interested. I've offered her rats also, so she's really big and fat right now, so I imagine she'll be dropping eggs here within a couple months. Her last shed was so uh, about 40 days ago, so I imagine the next... Uh, skin shed she has it'll be 30 might be 30 days after that so I hope she'll be dropping eggs soon here's Moses he did not want to eat of course you guys seen that he's just chilling and Zulu I can't remember if I recorded him or not but he ate a rabbit guys so there you have it uh, you got to see me feed a little bit of my collection here fortunately I didn't get the part of the where I was feeding the rats but it is what it is at least you got to see the aftermath 
and a few of the uh, food bulges on their bellies. So uh, I appreciate uh, appreciate you guys watching, and uh, um, be sure to uh, like and share share the channel and uh, subscribe. Thank you.